Hi everyone and welcome to a trains tutorial on turf effects. This is using trains railroad simulator 2019. Uh, it's just released and we're going to go into a bit of detail about how you can dive straight in and get your, your turf effects working. So to start off with uh, make sure you've got your username and password entered in there to make sure your game works uh, tweak the the performance settings uh, so that the turf effects will actually show in game what we might do is we'll put our shadows on high a nice big resolution for the shadows our shader quality we've got an ultra that'll give us our uh, parallax mapping on our ground textures and uh, materials on our meshes, uh, texture detail uh, we'll set to high, post processing we'll go ultra, water quality we'll leave it high, uh, detailed scenery um, that's set to clutter plus turf effects, uh, very important that we're doing turf effects today so you'll want that, uh, any aliasing four times, uh, detailed update rate high and we'll put in uh, process objects behind the camera and we'll leave it at that and it wants to do a bit of a reset so no problem alright and also online if you want to know more about turf uh, type in trains at turf effects and you'll find it's that link there uh, underneath here but I, oh, I'll bring it up we've actually got it as turf FX so you can see that trains turf FX typing it that way will show it uh, but I believe turf FX will bring it at the top uh, so either way is going to get you there and we're going to go and explain a lot of this in the video uh, sorry I'm scrolling a bit fast um, so you, that'll help you um, understand some of this information uh, so watch along and, and hopefully you enjoy the video right should be good to go let's start trains it's uh, starting up. We might turn the sound off. Okay. And we've got turf in our menu. And we can see our parallax mapping working on the ballast and a few other places. So let's dive into it. Uh, we will create a new route so we can start from scratch. Or turf one, why not? Okay, underneath your topology tab, you'll find in the advanced section there is a effects uh, layer or drop down for this. So straight away, click on the edit add effect layers button. And this will give you the option to choose between turf and clutter. We're going to choose turf, and you can name this layer whatever you want. I'm just going to name it grass A. Then you get a, a few options here to tweak. Uh, we'll go through them now. We've, we've named it grass A, so that's what the name is. At turf effects, now in this box, in this drop down, you'll find these are the pre installed turf effects assets that you can choose from. Uh, you can also create your own turf effects assets and, and manage them via Content Manager, and we'll show that in another video. Uh, it's not overly complicated, but it's more of a content creator uh, asset creation video than just using the turf straight, up, straight out of the uh, built-in assets. So we'll, we won't dive into that yet, we'll dive that in, into that in another video, but we will select one of these to use today. I'm going to go grass long 5, uh, and once we set these parameters up it's easy enough to just change this again to, to get uh, a different turf asset using the parameters you've tweaked. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I, I will come back to some of these because some of them it might take a little bit longer to explain to you. And I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to me babble on about uh, values and um, parameters. So let's set a few of these things up straight away so you can get started. Uh, keeping those as defaults are fine. The turf density default value, the turf height scale, 0, 10 meters. The constant value is at 1. 
we'll come back and explain all those soon. Geometry scale, this is how uh, how high the geometry is going, or, or how much the geometry is going to be scaled overall. Um, we might put it at about 0.55 uh, of a meter. Uh, the blade width, generally blades of glass are, are pretty skinny. You can go one, uh, zero, point zero 0.01, sorry, or 0 0.02. Try 0 0.01 to start off with. You can always change that to 0 0.02. Of course, you can change it to whatever you want, but uh, they're my preferences. The blade width noise is um, how uh, random this 0 0 0.01 will be uh, based on you know a 20% randomness or uh, you know 90% of it will be randomized. So we might we might not randomize anything for width. We'll keep it all at 0 0.1, and the blade height noise, uh, we probably will randomize that actually. The um, the geometry scale, sorry, is is how high your your blades are going to be, how long they're going to be, basically. So this blade height noise is going to be uh, a variant or a, a randomization on the height itself or the geometry scale. So we'll probably keep that at 50% so that we'll see uh, a lot of height variation. The width scale of near and the width scale of far. Now, I will come back to these. Leave them as they are because they need a little bit of uh, information as well. And we'll go online into the wiki to, to read about those as well. Going into bending scale, that's just how uh, far the, the uh, blades are going to animate um, with the wind, how far they're going to bend over. 0.2 is pretty good, uh, but you, you can play around with that. Um, dispersal, uh, probably go a little bit lower. That will work. Um, actually, let's leave it all now so you don't have to change too much stuff. We'll leave that there. Bunching will leave a zero. The expansion will probably go two, and we'll come back and explain exactly what these are. Um, put this one at 2 and we'll put this one at 2 and I will definitely come back and explain all these values but I don't want you to sit here and look at this box forever so once you've accepted that you now see it's already selected but in this drop down you have your grass effects you can select that one and you don't need to tweak anything else here but I will explain that further once you've selected your effects layer so your grounds there you select your effects layer you can jump up to your topology tools and use the height up change your radius um, you'll see I'll, I'll go into more detail let's just paint some grass hey so once you change your right uh, your radius start painting and you can see that your grass show, starts to show up uh, if it's you know if it's not long enough or it's not dense enough um, you jump back into your uh, layer and you start playing around with the parameters again so what you'll see is I might increase the size to one, uh, one meter. I might increase the blade thickness to 0.2. Uh, I might change the variant at a height to 0.25. And this constant value to get it a little bit thicker. You don't want to go overboard with this because this, this runs into performance issues if you do go too overboard with this stuff. Uh, but maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.3. 0.3 will definitely give us a, a lot thicker looking grass. We can't even see the ground now, it's that thick. Uh, but yeah, that's um, that's way too thick. So we'll knock that back down. Also, you're seeing this be uh, rather thick due to the grass bending, uh, bending over quite heavily if we choose to a, a different grass say grass 4 you can then see it's rather straight and you can start to see that ground a bit easier uh, but you know, that that's going to be really high you probably wouldn't see grass that long of this type I imagine anyway that's uh, that's how you get your grass working in a nutshell uh, I think I might leave it there so that you guys can just play around with it. You don't have to watch a video that goes on forever. Uh, and I will post another video um, shortly, which goes into all the details of uh, 
how you tweak your grass to be exactly how you want it and um, what all those values that I skipped over mean. So I hope that, uh, I hope that gets you started uh, and uh, hope your routes start looking full of grass. Thanks for watching.